And I thought, I love this guy. He's great. This guy is the real deal. A guest on our Skype line. He is a conservative radio talk show host out of Colorado. It is uh, Randy Corcoran. How's it going, Randy? Hey, Randy. Randy. Good to see you again. It's just incredible here at home in the easy chair and participate <laughs> with conservatives around the country on New Year's Eve. It's fantastic. Well, we're happy to have you. Really appreciate you coming on. And you're from Colorado. And correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a very big. That happened in Colorado in 2014. I want to get your thoughts on Cory Gardner's victory over Mark Udall. Well, I uh, I've had my issues with Cory Gardner, and uh, they continue. Yep. yep. But for purposes of my radio show and uh, the Liberty lineup on our station KLZ 560 here in Denver, we went silent as far as opposing Cory Gardner because we knew that it was so important to defeat Harry Reid to mm -hmm. defeat Mark Udall, mm -hmm. and that with Supreme Court justice nominations coming up, that a Republican majority gave us a better chance of avoiding liberal justices than the Harry Reid run Senate. And I, 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 I think you just nailed it on the head, and I have a mutual friend in Owen Hill, and um, I, mm -hmm. I'm part of Tea Party Express, and we had endorsed Owen Hill, but I, I think Owen saw exactly what you saw, that, you know, it's not about him, it's about saving the country. And, you know, Cory Gardner might not be perfect, but you know what? He's going to stand up to extreme liberal judges that Barack Obama tries to stuff down our throats. Yeah, and I'm sure you'll agree with this as well, that our, our job is just beginning. Republicans had a wave election, no doubt about that. But that means we have to get busier in now holding those elected officials accountable. And the mantra is already starting, Andy. That you're hearing it from like Doug Schoen, the Democrat strategist on Fox News, that Jeb Bush is the candidate that Hillary Clinton fears the most. Ted Cruz is the candidate that she hopes that she gets to run against. Those are lies. Those are misrepresentations getting out into the media nice and early. And we have to do everything in our power to put them. Well, I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad you brought that up. I, I'm pretty clear that the mainstream media has been Jeb Bush, I mean, do you think they're going to be successful in getting their preferred Republican nominee in Jeb Bush? I think that it's a, there's a huge risk of it, Andy, because he's already gathering together the big donors. Mm -hmm. uh, when even Fox News is starting to tout some of the conservative credentials of Jeb Bush means our work is cut out for us. But I know many, many grassroots Republicans who have said, and I say this on my radio show regularly, that if Jeb Bush is the nominee, I will not vote for the Republican presidential candidate. And I heard the same thing from a lot of activists around the country. So the question becomes, I mean, what can we all do to stop the, the machine, if you will? Well, I'm, you know, I do my part certainly with the Arapaho Tea Party here in Colorado. It's the largest Tea Party organization. We've had three new Tea Party groups just in one Colorado county that Great. popped this year very effectively. <laughs> We do the morning radio show three hours. A day. We do the morning radio show three hours a day, where we are pushing back against the the mainstream media. But I think what conservatives have to do is we have to decide on a candidate early on. We can't have four or five or six conservatives running against the establishment candidate Jeb Bush. That's how the establishment beats us almost every single time. Right. Well, let me ask you this, Randy. Are you optimistic about the future of America, or I mean, are you more pessimistic? I have never been more optimistic, Andy. I mean, hearing you talked about the defeat of Eric Cantor during the primaries, uh, the mastermind behind that, Christopher Doss, is a regular guest on our show, and he and people are traveling all around the country, educating the grassroots and how to mobilize people. We can't compete with the money that they have in the establishment. But we don't have to because our message wins. We just need enough money and enough active, passionate, grassroots people out there uh, fighting to win these battles. And Colorado proved it. Republican wave, in spite of a whole lot of Republican misbehavior, proved it as well. well you, you, real quick, you guys have another Senate race coming up in 2016. 
Michael Bennett's up. I mean, do you think Michael Bennett is going to be beatable in 2016? Absolutely think Michael Bennett is going to be beatable in 2016. Can you imagine two more years of as president of the United States? No. There's going to be plenty to talk about. But we, we need to be getting those candidates ready now. We need candidates who have read and understand Sun Tzu's The Art of War, who have read and understand Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals, because that's the game that we're in. And these milk toast, can't we go to Washington to get we all just need to get along candidates heck out of the way and all we right. shouldn't waste right. well all right yes i think I think you nailed it, and if everyone here remembers, there was this famous Hollywood actor who once said, we need bold colors and not pale pastels. Hey, Randy, why, why What's your radio station again there? Yeah, I was just going to ask, Randy, why don't you tell everyone uh, where they can find you on the radio? Oh, yes, please. Um, our show is Wake Up with Randy Corcoran. It's broadcast on KLZ 560 in Denver. You can go to our Facebook page, Wake Up with Randy Corcoran, find the links and the podcasts. And uh, we are really doing what you guys are doing, trying to grow this network of passionate conservatives, uh, because that's the movement. We, we either win or we go down fighting. There is no compromise for our country. You, you got it. Well, hey, thank you. Uh, 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 Randy, uh, something I wanted to uh, say the first time I met you to you in the parking lot after the rally, the thing that most really impressed me this guy is the real deal because there are so many uh, so-called conservative talk show hosts. <laughs> conservative talk show hosts think uh, that that's where the movement is going, and that's you know, and that's the uh, popular thing to do. Uh, but like, I talked to you, and I said, "This guy is the real." And I thought, I love this guy. He's great. Uh, look, I want to ask you about that shirt uh, you were wearing. I think it says, I support American conservatives of color. Can you explain that? Absolutely. And, and you know, I've got a day job. I run a law firm during the day. So my the Liberty lineup and doing our show in the morning, because of my passion for my children and my future grandchildren, the American Conservatives of Color was founded here in Colorado by a man named Derek Wilburn now a national organization that is putting, for instance, the Republican Party in the Martin Luther King Day Parade here in Colorado, wow, wow. teaching people the black communities, Hispanic communities, the people that they've left alone until five weeks before the election in years past, mm. making a huge difference. And I'm glad you could see the shirt because yes, yes. I, I wore it with intentionality today. And Lloyd, I really loved meeting you. I love what you're doing today, and I know we're going to do great things moving forward. Go ahead, pal. Bye. Hey, thank you so much for coming on, Randy. You have a happy New Year's. Happy New Year. Thank you. <laughs> I love this guy. He's great. This guy is the real deal.